August was a pretty significant month for the stock market and my portfolio in general. We've seen a pretty big dip in the stock market, which I was able to take advantage of. I bought 50 shares of Google in the month of August, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit. And I'm going to show you how I was able to afford that. We're also going to look at what other companies I bought in the month of August as well as look at some of my biggest gainers and biggest losers for the month and then compare my portfolio to the overall market and see how I did. If I did bad or good, you might be surprised on uh, <laughs> what happened over this past month, so stay tuned. So looking at my purchases for the month of August, we can see about 16% of one whole share of ETI for $44. I also bought some SCHD, uh, almost a half a share in my Robinhood portfolio for $40, bringing my total up to $22.37. I also bought some Coca-Cola, 6.15 shares for $429, bucks, bringing my total up to $300, and I'm sorry, $37.22. Also bought a little bit of Lowe's, uh, bought 43% of a share at $104, bringing my total up to 3.55. Shares also NXST almost bought an entire share at 164 bucks, bringing my total up to 5.37. Also, my Roth IRA, I put $78 in it for the month, and then I put some cash in my Robinhood account $120 or 30 bucks a week into just that cash position, and that brought my total up to $979.39, almost $1,000 invested just in these accounts. That's not including my other accounts that I don't show you guys. So I am excited about that. I like that. That's pretty cool Um, a, to be able to invest roughly $1,000 a month. I've been able to do that almost this entire year, right? But like I said, we did sell two positions in order to buy 50 shares of Google which we'll take a look at in a second. And also I bought one share of Apple with the funds that I freed up. Looking at my Robinhood portfolio for the past month, we can see it's sitting around 51,499 bucks. And I'm only up 0.64% over the past month. As you can see, it just kind of went up and then came back down a nice little rainbow, right? We can see here I now own 100 shares of Google. I'm up 10% on it because it has been sliding just a little bit. My average cost is $137.65, and this is 29% of my portfolio, which is a lot. I know that, okay? But I do plan on adding more money to other positions and dropping this portfolio diversity a lot portfolio over the past month is only up about 0.64 percent when we take a look at the dow jones and see what it's doing we can see over the past month the dow jones is up 4.08 percent so it is doing better than my portfolio is right it is doing over three percent better than my portfolio is i usually beat the dow jones but this month i did not at least i'm in the positive though the 500 however did the same thing it beat me by over three percent uh, over the past month, it's up 4%. So, you know, I didn't beat this index either. And then, of course, when we take a look at the NASDAQ, you can see the same thing, except it beat me by just a little less than the other two. So out of this, you know, these four things, my portfolio and then the rest of the market, my portfolio underperformed over the past month, which is not shocking. If 30% of my... Google and Google has not been doing good. It's actually been dropping over the past month. What do you think my portfolio is going to do, right? Do <clears throat> as well as the other ones. The first one being something we looked at a while ago. Google. If we could take a, we could take a look it's here. Seven percent. So it is down pretty, pretty decently over the past month. Even though it's down seven percent, this is again thirty percent of my portfolio. So if this isn't doing too well, then guess what my portfolio is going to do? Not as well either. But again, I'm still up ten percent on this this for the long term because i mean it's google right google owns youtube you guys are watching this on youtube loser or contributor we have for my uh not success month is next star media group it is down seven percent seven point one four percent then google but it is down that much and you know that did not help my portfolio as much but again this is only 1.69 percent of my portfolio so this didn't have the as much of a big effect as Google did in the uh, bringing, letting it stagnate, should I say. But when we take a look at the positives, we can see that I do have two come on. And the first one is 
adding more shares to but it is up 3.57 percent over the past month and this is five percent of my portfolio the beginning of april i'm sorry the beginning of two and a half three and a half percent of my portfolio now it is 5.17 i am working on getting 100 shares of this company as you can see Now it's at 71 bucks and it's coca-cola isn't one of the companies that usually shoot up a lot or shoot down a lot but it is doing pretty well my return is 21.73 percent and again i do want to make a uh, hundred shares of this company so i can run the covered calls on it like i am doing with uh, google but in due time right the next company we have is none other than month and this is only 3.82 percent of my portfolio i'm only up 1.79 percent and looking at it it hadn't done too much it, it's staying at pretty much a seven percent regular year-to-date gain drop below uh in the negative this month annual income went up from 1302 a year to 1326 so it went up 24 bucks from month to month which is pretty cool i like to see that this is coming from me adding money to it i don't think i had any type of dividend raises over the past month my money and of course dividend reinvestments to buy those 50 shares of Google and that one share of Apple. Okay. So that freed up around $2,800, okay? I'm still, as you can see, putting $2 a day into VTI. Savings account, not really saving money, but gonna build up money to throw into positions when I see fit. Right. Now it's real, real debate. Uh, I wanted to free up some capital. I collected some gains and there's of Tesla and And was able to disperse that into, of course, Google and in the one share of Apple, which I'd love to get 100 shares of Apple. But man, that's a lot of money. Twenty thousand dollars. For the past month of August, and uh, I am in a new kind of room. I and mean, I do have a new kind of setup going on here. Now going to be making it look a little different over the next few videos trying to figure out what I want to do with it but uh let me think of what I did selling those two stocks and putting them into Google and Apple let me know if that was a good idea or not and how did you do over the past month in August were you able to beat any of the major indices were you be able to were you able to outpace the market like I wasn't <laughs> unfortunately when every month And if you want to going to the video right here, but I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Peace, love and prosperity.